गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी एट होम ये स्टडे वी हैव स्टार्टड चैप्टर नंबर फाइव दैट इज एसिड एंड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट इन दैट टॉपिक वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट एसिड एंड बेसिस देन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट नेचुरल इंडिकेटर दैट आर लिटमस एंड टर्मरिक इंडिकेटर्स सो टूडे वी विल कॉन्टिन्यू विद नेचुरल इंडिकेटर्स around us and we will study about china rose indicator after that we will study the explanation that how acid rain occur in our environment so first of all we will discuss our today's agenda that first we will recapitulate that what we have done yesterday then we will connect with our topic then we will derive our aim that is about the natural indicator china rose then we will do one activity related to china rose indicator to find out whether a substance is acidic or basic then we will study the what are the causes and effect of acid rain on the environment then we will assess that what we have learned today and how much we have learned today in this session then we will summarize the topic and at last i will give you homework so in today's session the new terms that we will learn are china rose natural indicator acid rain pollutants and neutral substances and the skill that will be we will acquire after this topic that is inquiry skill classification skill and experimental skill so i hope you all are clear with today's agenda so let us start our agenda first we will recapitulate that what we have done yes in yesterday's class so there we have studied about acid and bases and their example first of all we should know that what do you mean by acids the substances which taste shower contain acid in them and they are called acidic substances or acid so for example lemon juice orange juice curd vinegar etc they all contain acid in them for example lemon juice and orange juice they contain citric acid curd contain lactic acid and vinegar contain acetic acid then coming to bases what are bases the substances which taste bitter they are bases and when we touch them how do we feel we feel soapy touch so they are bases so for example washing soda milk of magnesia baking soda so these all are the example of bases so i hope you are clear with this topic then we have studied about the litmus indicator a and this indicator what does it do and what is the use of indicator indicator help us to identify whether the substance is acidic or basic and when we need this indicator because we can't taste all the substances so for that need we use indicators then litmus is a natural dye and from where we get it we get it from lichens lichens are the combination of algae and fungus and it is available in the form of blue litmus paper and red litmus paper so how many types of litmus papers are there two that is red and blue as you can see in the slide also so the acidic substances changes blue litmus into red while basic substances changes red litmus to blue then we have the neutral substance what do you mean by neutral substance substances which do not change the color of the litmus paper they are called neutral substance so i think you have recapitulated the topic that we have done yesterday so and then we have studied about the turmeric indicator also which is yellow in color and where do we use this turmeric usually we use in different curries so it is also used as indicator with the help of turmeric paste we can make turmeric paper also and in acidic solution this turmeric paper remains in yellow color and in neutral substance also it remains yellow color but 
it changes to red color in basic solution for example for basic solution is soap so i hope you have recapitulated the topic that we have done yesterday so now we will start with our new topic that is natural indicator about the china rose have you ever seen china rose if you have not seen you can take help of the slide it is given in the slide the picture of china rose and how does it look what is the color of china rose it is red in color so how we can prepare this china rose indicator for this also we have one activity for this what do we need we need some warm water china rose petals so what we will do we will take some warm water in a beaker and put few china rose petals in it and keep the petal dip for some time till the water becomes colored take the colored water and use it as an indicator by putting few drops in the sample solution then you can observe the change in the color of china rose solution with each sample suppose if we have the acidic substance then the china rose indicator will change into dark pink color that is into magenta color that you can see in the slide also then if it is basic substance then the china rose indicator will turn into green color suppose if we have neutral substance then what change do you observe there will be no change in the color of china rose indicator so i hope you are clear with this topic and for your more observation you can see in the slide also so here i have shown one activity also so what we will do here we will test the samples by china rose indicator for identification of acidic or basic nature for acidic solutions what example we have we took here we took lemon juice and for base we took baking soda so what we will do we will take china rose indicator then we will add acid in it that is lemon juice so it will convert into dark pink color and in next step the china rose indicator will be added to baking soda and it will be converted into green color so if it is giving green color it indicates that it is basic in nature so i hope you are clear with this activity so with the help of china rose indicator also we can identify whether a substance is acidic or basic in nature then coming to our new topic that is acid rain so what do you mean by acid rain have you ever seen acid rain the rain which contains a higher level of acid than normal is called acid rain now question comes from where does we get this acid in the rain can you guess that from where we get this an acid usually we get the this acid by the acidic gases which are released in atmosphere with the help of different types of the human activities which we are doing in day to day life so as in the slide you can see some pictures which are given which causes which are the causes of acid rain like volcano eruption or we can say volcano emission then forest fire and when vehicles are releasing this harmful gases so what they all are doing they are releasing the harmful pollutant in the atmosphere and they are leading for an acid rain so here we i will explain you more in detail what happen actually acid rain is caused by the acidic gases it is caused by some acidic gases like sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide but before knowing this 
we should know what are the main causes of acidic acid rain so first of all we will study about the natural causes just now i told you like volcanic eruption biological processes and because of lightning also they give us more many type of gases many type of acidic gases which mixed in the environment and other causes can be industrialization what do you mean by this when the factory is releasing the harmful gases automobile exhaust coal based power plants we have different power plants and they are working with the help of the coal and it is releasing harmful gas and domestic fires so these are the main causes which lead to acid rain now we will study deeply that how this acid rain is occur that is chemical processes involved in acid rain so acid rain is caused by the acidic gases like sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide and carbon dioxide which are released into the air as a pollutants during the burning of various types of fuels so then the, this sulfur dioxide gas dissolve in falling rain drops to form sulfuric acid as in the equation one equation is given in this slide that how sulfuric acid is formed the sulfur dioxide uh, combines with oxygen and water to form sulfuric acid then we have nitrogen dioxide gas dissolve in rain drops to form nitric acid whereas carbon dioxide gas dissolves in rain drops to form carbonic acid so the presence of sulfuric acid nitric acid and carbonic acid in rain water makes the rain water acidic and when this acidic rain water falls on the earth we call it acid rain so i hope you are clear with the help of this slide and with the help of this chemical process involved in acid rain then coming to if this acid rain come on the ground then what can be the effect that you can observe first can be the acid rain causes damage to crops so what happened to the crop the crop become yellowish in color then the acid causes damage to the soil so the soil will become acidic in nature so what we can do to remove acidity we will add some bases to neutralize it then as you can see in the picture also it damages the aquatic life also it damages surface water that causes damages to fish and aquatic animals and sometime they also die also so these are some effects of acid rain then in india we have taj mahal and if we see uh, before 10 years taj mahal the color of taj mahal it was very white but now if we observe the color of taj mahal it is becoming yellowish what is the reason behind it the reason is of mathura refinery what it is releasing it is releasing sulfur dioxide pollutants that is the reason the surface of the taj mahal it is converting into yellowish color so what this acid rain is doing it is causing the damage to building to structural material of marble limestone slate etc it is damaging different types of monuments so this is also some of the effects of acid rain now what we can do what we can uh, do some steps to control measures for acid rain first of all we can replace the coal by natural gas so why we will replace natural gas on pl uh, place of coal because natural gas have high calorific value and it will release very less pollutants then in place of coal what type of coal we can use we can use soft bituminous coal and 
what speciality does this coal have this coal has very low sulfur content so it will release less harmful pollutants then we can do liming what is liming suppose when the lakes or water bodies become acidified with the help of acid rain in that we can add some base to neutralize it and that base can be lime and the other name is calcium hydroxide and that process is called liming as you can see in the picture also that how they are neutralizing the lake with the help of base and we can use energy sources that do not produce nitrogen or sulfur oxide so in picture it is shown the windmill and the solar energy plates they are shown so with the help of this also we can control measure uh, we can control the acid rain effect now so till now we have studied about the natural indicator that is china rose then we have done activity related to it and uh, then we have studied about the acid rain so i hope till now you are clear with this topic now we will assess that how much we uh, have learned from this session so i will ask some question you can pause the video and try to give answer to these question i hope you will be able to give answer after viewing this video first question is how can we make the china rose indicator as you know that with the help of warm water and china rose petals we can do it then what is the effect of china rose indicator on acid and bases so we have seen in the activity that china rose indicator on acid it will change into which color and in base it changes into which color in bases it will change into green color and in acid it will change into dark pink color then what are the effects of acid rain as we have studied what does it do it damage the building it spoil aquatic life it affect the different monuments it affect the soil also how rain become acidic name to acidic gases which are responsible for acid rain i hope you will be able to give answer to this question then what will be the effect of china rose indicator on lemon juice and baking soda for this question you have to first know which one is acid and which one is base if you know this then you will be able to easily give the answer to this question so i hope you all will be able to give answer to this question and at last we will summarize that what we have done today we have studied about china rose indicator so in that we have studied acidic substances change china rose indicator into dark pink color basic substances turn china rose indicator into green color and the rain which contain excess of acids dissolve in it is called acid rain then we have studied what are the causes of acid rain and what are the effect of it acid rain causes damage to crops soil buildings which are made up of marbles so i hope you all are clear with the help of this summary that what we have done today then at last you will solve assignment number 30 in your notebook very neatly and thank you we will meet tomorrow again have a nice day